Most no, certainly is. That's okay. That's, that's a good one. Hello. How's it going? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm going to just back up here, turn it, shut this road down. Okay. He's going to shut that in, so you got... We got what we need. Okay. You want to look at it real quick? It's yeah. Right here. Yeah. There ain't no regular driver, so... Yeah. It's down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's goodness. It's, that's great. We don't have a whole lot of trees. That's figured that's to be a I'm bunch. A bunch of cutting and. Yeah, we'll just we'll get it hooked and okay. bring I'll it up this, this way. Down. How are you, my friend? I'm good. <laughs> good. He'll shut that down. And, yeah. yeah, we'll. Uh, that way you got all you need to work. And... Yeah, it'll probably take us a minute to get some things yeah. wrapped up and. But yeah, we'll get it coming this way. All right. Thank you guys. It's way down there. That's probably, I don't know, 100 foot down on its side, 80 foot down on its side. I don't know. I'm not good with measurements, but I will tell you it's way down there. On it's down side. there, huh? Are they okay? I believe we looked at this thing in terms of me. Light left on the Black Bear mm -hmm. Falls Way. Good. Thank goodness we got a clearing right here. Yeah. Try to. Oh, no, you're good. Look at my new experiences, Karen. Thank you for doing this for me. Are you back off? Man, do good. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I'm on days now. So I know. It's like uh, <laughs> nothing exciting happens. <laughs> He's not outside, so hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't, yeah. Well, we'll continue it coming this way. There's got to be some sort of easement for the... <laughs> and all that's muddy down there, so there's no way you're going to get through that. Yeah. And it's like ankle Just deep in mud. Sink. I know, we got a Harley yesterday, and they wanted us to do that. I was like, there's no way. We've had too much rain. Those should be okay. Yeah, just enough to get it going, so. Do you want to go ahead and hook these to the winter table? Maybe. And we'll slide it. See what happens.
I think they've already taken that tree down, so. Yeah, you see how it's way from the fire? Yeah, I crossed my cables. I just didn't know if it was going to cause some resistance or not. Yeah, I got my cables on the wrong side. Can you hook this one to that and tighten it and then swap them? I probably can, um, if I can get this one out.
look like I can have a We'll have everything on video too, guys, if you go to that channel. We make sure we, you never know, insurance companies and. Okay, Sorry. guys, um, back to the truck, got it loaded up. Looks like we got quite the crowd down here. Let's see where we're going. Yeah, we uh, had the roadblock for probably half an hour. It's a good one. Lots of people that are missing breakfast. And it's Sunday morning, so I think people are trying to leave. Did you see this was a loop? Yeah, I think so. Wonder if I can get turned around right here. You're gonna turn around right here? All these people are gonna think that they can go. There's a parking lot up there. See where those guys are? Maybe you can turn around there. I'll just yeah, I'll come up here a little further can't be that many people. I'll just go up here and turn around. <laughs> but anyway, they're okay. She just, she got too close to the edge there and it just rolled and it was probably 30, 35 feet down that embankment there. Yeah, it was a good bit down there. Airbags, man. Her airbags deployed and I'm assuming she had her seatbelt on and she walked away from that. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. I don't know if I could turn this bus around or not. We're at the parking block on this side. You're at it. <laughs> nope, need every inch. <laughs> Looks like we got everybody rolling here, hopefully. Black Bear Falls Way, I believe it is. Yeah. There's a bunch of, it's a cabin community up here. You guys will have to check out the, uh, the edge as we're driving by. I mean, it's a. Uh... We've, we've pointed it out before, but I will point it out again. Fortunately, she has friends with her, so. They know where we're at, right? Yes. It was kind of a tougher pull. We had some trees that wanted to hang up and I had my cables crossed and but it actually worked out pretty good for me. I, we were talking to, I needed that low pull once we got to the top so slacked up a cable and got a low pull to get it drugged the rest of the way onto the road. It's just so steep. There's not a there's not a gradual edge to be found right there. It goes straight and it goes down real quick. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this one over the lot, so stick around, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've got a really big something bottomed out up here. Over here in Big Red today, we're about a minute away from it. I think it's our normal stuck the back end kind of situation, but um, we'll see. Oh, it's really big. Oh, it is. Hello, we're here. <laughs> Could be better. Could be better. It pays to be a top 10 wreck master, buddy. <laughs> you got it. I'll pay you service call. You got her pulled we out of got, there. We got it by hand, believe it or not. Wow. He just kept jacking up the motor home, sticking wood under it, jacking this up, and then he got mad, took a hammer, and hit the, the trailer hitch, and she separated, and that's that. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds good. That sounds oh good. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, it happens all the time. Yeah, these... Uh, GPS, sorry for my language. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's crazy. The, Son uh, of a Yeah, these roads are no joke. Um, but why would GPS send you up when we had truck root on our GPS? Stupid. Yeah, it, it happens. It happens a bunch. I don't know. You know what? We own a record service in Canada. Uh, I, we have uh, 20 <laughs> trucks. And we do this all the time, but just not for ourselves. Yeah, no. It's, that's, that's when it's bad is when you're away from home you and you don't have any. You get frustrated because you, you know what? You can't. Everybody you call, we don't have. Nope, we, have, we don't have drivers. How can you have heavy records and not have drivers, man? Yeah, our, our area is really bad. It's uh, it's the, the car shows in town. That's I probably know, why that's you guys are here. But, and it's, it's just over overwhelmingly busy I and I don't uh, doubt that but they said they don't have drivers for the heavies it's like <laughs> I don't pull my heavy drivers for light yeah there's no way we make too much money with heavy drivers I know yeah you don't make with light I know unless it's a wreck yeah unless you know, it's a wreck service calls you don't make I know that's the way we are too and a lot of times it's it's hard but uh well I'm glad you got it out of there for yep, sure I'm that's pay uh, you a service call um Cost your money. you came I pay <laughs> But I'll, we'll get you to write me a receipt if you don't mind. Absolutely. All the you same drive? stuff. Good girl. 
top. <laughs> I'm the first female in Canada to be one of the top 10 rack masters. Thank you. In 2010, I was very that's, proud. That's Still am. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. I drive heavy too. Yeah, I can, if one's laying on its side, truck and trailer, I can put her back on her wheels. All right. It really that's freaks that's the cops out though. <laughs> You're going to do that? Oh, I know. It looks awful, doesn't it? <laughs> Cool How's it going, man? We, I, I know we get that too when when they pull up and she's pulling cables and yeah. and it's like uh, she's like, what? What's going on? <laughs> so, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, he, he he's, he's got bad knees. Yeah. I got bad hips. I'm disabled. Yeah, he's disabled. You know what? My adrenaline beat me through it. <laughs> that's that's good, man. That's good. We uh, but when that wears off later, you'll find out all I'll those <laughs> extra aches and pains. I was, uh, Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. Two weeks ago, I did a tanker roll over my soft with our rotator. Yeah. I'll tell you. Oh. I went down in the ditch, full jam. All I could hook on was the top of the hatches on the tank. Hey. Three container, um, full of road paint, like a road painter. Yeah. I pulled two off my auxiliaries, off my legs, up to the frame. Yeah. Two over. I was just dying there. Wow. I picked it up. I picked the whole. Up, so we have a 50 ton, yeah, 50 65, yeah, NRC rotator. I picked it up just as I picked it up, got all my cables off. My driver rolled up with our 60 ton to grab it. Oh, wow, like just to take it, you know, just to take it. I'll yeah, I'll tell you what, I got home. I was oh man, I tell you I what, sold the company three weeks ago, really. Yeah, You're 40 to, years I was there, ready to take it easy now. Truck. I know, isn't it crazy? You, 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 you get the people that tell you, uh, you got one truck, you just wait, it'll be 20. <laughs> All of them painted in camo. That's awesome. All of them painted camouflage. Uh, like I said, I was there 40 years. Started with a little truck. That's crazy. Good deal? <laughs> and you'll be ready to go. I jacked it up by the axle. Oh man. The rear wheels, right? Then knock the hitch out. That's brilliant. So the hitch out. We, we oh, get this all the time. You and I the world's problems. We get this all the time. Oh, I know. I it's just... usually for us, it's box trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, we get a lot of the motor homes. But yeah, the people in the box trucks will come up and then they'll stick that landing gear oh. right in. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, you guys have fun and Thanks, enjoy the show. Thanks a million. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's get her hooked up. We do what nobody's going to do, like you and I. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's us too. It's like you just you just go when they call, you go. Job done, right? That's all they want is the road clear. Yep. And we charge for it. We get good money for what we do. These old mountain roads will keep you on your toes. That's right. Said 40 years, 38, 38 It's time to relax. Good gosh. Yeah. Our friends all said, we wouldn't do this. We guys work like you and me, we yep. work hard. Yep. I hate when people go, must be nice. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, you. yeah. Show me the last time you got up at 4 o'clock in the morning right. to clean up a, a road wreck. Show me when you uh, <laughs> answered phones 24-7 for 39 years. Yeah, yeah. They just don't understand what comes with the... They don't care. No, they don't they understand. They go out with you and go, oh, I wouldn't do this. Wouldn't That's why we have what we have and you have what you have. Yeah. Yeah, we get that a lot, too. It's oh, kind of frustrating. Angry. That's yeah. not him. It makes me angry. <laughs> well, it, I want to show you a couple of pics. Yeah, that's we awesome. What you do. No, we appreciate well, you guys. We were, uh, it's awesome meeting you guys, you know. She drove heavy with me, everything. We did, when I became disabled, I said to myself, I'm not doing anything that I can't do myself. Yeah. <laughs> so that, my, that was my creed. I said, I'll never do, put myself in that position because you can't get good guys. No. Some guys that are there 30 years. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. hard to find the good help and somebody you can trust with your equipment. Yeah. So. They won't treat it like you do. <laughs> I said to my son, you know, I said, you can have it. Just give your mother and I a pension check. Yeah, there you go. Every week. I'm going to pull up so they can come up. So, gosh, that's like me and you right there. I hit 20 years. They work very well together. Yeah. You don't even have to tell her. She knows exactly what's going on and what they need to do. It's just a really cool... Really cool dynamic they've got going on too. He's left a block on his uh, wheel in the trailer today. You guys are just like us. We work very well together. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody goes, how, we've been married 42 years, 43 years, 43 years. Yeah. Goes, how can you live and work together? <laughs> work is work. The work is work. And, yeah. and home is work. So yeah. what the is the difference? <laughs> it's all the same. What's Thank you. My name is Jeff. Jeff. Man, it was nice to meet you, Nick. Nick. Ackerman, Jeff, I appreciate I that. Towing in Campbellville. I will uh, definitely give you guys a look up. and yeah. It's always nice to stay in touch on that you stuff, man. CA Towing in Campbellville. Like camouflage trucks, you'll see our web website. Awesome, man. Thanks a lot. You man. guys are awesome, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, I, Jeff. Yeah, we'll... Uh, it's going to be a busy afternoon, so we're going to get back at it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. So they're, they're going to Jellystone. Yeah, I told them that we would point them in the right direction once we got out of this. Out of yeah. Condition. That's cool. I'm going to go bug on the Okay. So they just got turned around. Did yeah. The way. And then that driveway slopes up, and they just got stuck in the dip. It happens all the time. It does. But what a cool thing, man. He, uh, you know, they put 40 some years in, in the business. And uh, I don't know if my microphone. It was on. It probably, it probably picked it all up. And then they got a, they got a really cool, really cool business. You know, they've, they've busted their butts and worked hard. And now they're, now they're going to retire and just a really cool business. I'm not sure you do get back there. It can go south so quickly when you take a wrong turn. Yeah, I mean, he's, like I said, he's he's done this for 40 plus years. This this will tell you how, how serious our area is. You know, a guy that's very well versed in what it takes and it happens to all of us. But I tell you what, yeah, I'm glad we got to meet him and I got to check out pictures of all of his uh, tow trucks, 20 plus trucks he's had over 40 years. And, and you know, they've, they've done every job imaginable together. That thing should turn pretty good. He'll probably come back a little bit more. He's got it. Got it. Fantastic. Yeah, they said that they were towing this truck on the trailer. They said now that they're close, she's just going to drive the truck with the trailer attached. And he's just going to drive the RV. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, I did tell them that we would uh, hang out and help them find where they needed to go, point them in the right direction. They're coming back where we came in and then going uh, uh, actually, left, I, mean, I think, I aren't mean, they? Veterans is right there. That's T Street. Just take them to Veterans. Yeah, they need to go to Veterans. But yeah, they were set up for um, you know a truck route and G still GPS brought them this way, so they were very still very frustrated. She told me that she that they missed a turn. He was supposed to have turned left, and so they were doing basically a giant U turn, and it brought them this way. Gotcha. Yeah, GPS will get you. Now they get to turn left out of here. Hopefully they'll be all right. This is the widest option, I guess. Yeah. Big buses and uh, mountains just don't go well together. <laughs> that thing be blowing off, flapping the wind. What's going on? Well, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? It's a Chevrolet. A surprise. I bet it's a Camaro. So you can't put dollies on it. See, it's Chevrolet something. Chevrolet. So guys, it's not supposed to be here. The management called and said we need to remove it. I don't know what it is, why it's got a cover on it, why it's up here. It is a Malibu. Malibu. LTZ Malibu. Look, they just bought it. Just bought it. On the 4th. It's real nice. Carvana. Still in the box. <laughs> uh, look, there's a nice dent scratch there. Go ahead and give it the, the once over here. Give it the Kristen inspection. The Carvana. <laughs> What's that? That's a scratch. Oh, 
Oh goodness, there's a doo-doo there. Ooh, lots of scrapes under there. Car cover away and everything. Lots of scrapage under that front bumper. Scratches, dents. Oof. Unlocked. Interesting. I mean, I guess. Okay. We're into Malibu LTZs. Is it rear wheel drive? But it is. Probably, probably. Is your phone ringing? Maybe. Is it front wheel drive? Okay, I think I got a good walk around of it. I'll get the paperwork going on it. Uh, oh, look, nice little dent there. It's all messed up. Somebody's not gonna be too happy with us. I didn't do it. Try to get somebody back over at the gate um, to let you yeah. let you in. No. It's going to be probably be thirty or forty minutes. I yeah, I need it as soon. I mean, it's like a really big issue. I need that because I, I clean I, uh, I I clean the uh, Sevier County Courthouse Sheriff's Department. I own a small commercial cleaning business, and it has the keys inside it for those buildings. Gotcha. And I didn't know that the car was taken until I about thirty minutes ago. I went to go look for my car. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're the registered owner, too, ID has to match the registration for the release. Um, yeah, and, and the cost, walk. yeah, the cost, okay. the cost associated has to be cashed to that registered owner. Cash. Uh, I mean, I got the. I, I mean, that's. I should. I mean, I got the cash. It's fine. But I just, I need it as like as soon as possible, man. I'm so sorry. It's just like I have to. Thank. Gotcha. Okay. Um, give me, like I said, give me 30 or 40 minutes. It's at 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg. 221 Newman Road. Okay, I'll be there. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If it was so important, why did, was it not locked? Yeah. Keys to clean the jail? Courthouse? The jail, the courthouse, the, yeah. It's unlocked with the, the keys to those places in it? That's, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Sounds great. All right, guys, kind of missed the phone conversation there. I think Kristen got some of it on her, her cell phone instead of the GoPro, but uh, he says his car was towed mistakenly, and he cleans for the jail and the courthouse, and all the keys are in this car. But keep in mind, guys, this car was completely unlocked when we towed it. We locked it once we put it in here, so that's kind of a scary story. He says he absolutely has to have it tonight. So let's see what we got. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I talked to you on the phone, maybe? Yes, yes. 2011 Impala? The Impala, yeah. Oh, thank God. And you're the registered owner? Yes, sir, I can show you. I just bought it a week ago. Okay. I had a walk here, found out the guy that owns the building was getting scammed by the people, and now they, they towed my car because he lied to them. Oh, no. Even though I've been paying rent. Well, that's kind of a bad deal. If you got keys, I'll bring it up here to you. Yeah. I put the car cover back on it, man. It's a cool car. I told him that. I said, it's not a regular car. It's a collector's item, man. Yeah, I, I put the cover That's back on it. Tweaking out about it. It's only got 58,000 miles on it. Really? It looked very nice. Yeah. Yeah, give me a second. I'll get her up here to you. 
mint condition collector's item. He said he just left it unlocked. Who does that? Yeah, buddy. Like I said, super cool car. Yeah. And it was unlocked too. You realize you left it unlocked? Maybe just because I had just, I dude, bought the cover today. Yeah. Today because it was leaking and I didn't want it to leak anymore on the leather because it was a garage kept car. Yeah. I'm the second owner of this thing. I love this thing more than my wife straight up. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's a cool car. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And, like uh, I said, it was. Oh man, that wasn't there, dude. Oh, oh, was... I know that wasn't there for a fact. We record everything before we pick it up. Was it there? It has to be. Like it was not, man. I'm telling you, I know it for a fact. Well, uh, we've got not video. Was yeah, either. yeah, we've got we've got video footage. We go around it before we ever do anything yeah. to it. Yeah, and I know that wasn't there, but it's okay. I'm not complaining or nothing. Um, do I have any paperwork? How much I owe you? Uh, we could get you a receipt, yeah, it's for the for the tow. And I all the cash I have, these people. Exactly. That's crazy, man. I can't believe they'd. Yeah, uh, well, they're sending them to jail. The guy just took off running. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let me get you this receipt. 100% was there because I went back and focused on it with the camera. Oh, look, nice little dent there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, we've, and I got the, the footage. She, she's yeah, she's not, the one that does the walk around no, too. I'm not so. complaining or nothing like but that. Man, I'm yeah, mad I, at those guys because I'm like, yeah. damn, dude, this thing is not, a, and you know what it is? I have another car, it's a beater. Mm -hmm. You could tear that thing up all day. I don't give a yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, well, man. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding on their part, man. Yep, no problem. 100%. That ding under his door handle, is that what he's talking about? Yeah. 100% was there. 100% because as I was doing my last walk around, I saw it and I pointed it out. So guys, here's, this is, you know, we don't get a whole lot of this stuff. You know, this one was one of those things, you know, the car was under a car cover and he's, he's claiming it's, uh, you know, whatever. It's a low mile car. It's nothing. But you know it's his car and he's proud of it and i understand that but this is exactly why we do the uh the walk arounds and and uh and really have to you just have to document everything with a fine tooth because it's like he just he knew that was there because he yes, went right yes, to he it went right, yes. he went right to it and uh you know oh man i can't believe this and you know if, if i hadn't have said that you know we we've got we document everything and record everything if i hadn't said that you know, who who knows, you know, I, he might have went to, well, you did this and, and I'm, you know, whatever. But we've got proof. This is why we do what we do. And, you know, for you, for you guys out there in this profession doing this thing, golly, get a camera, record everything. And, and if you can't, make sure, make sure your guys are taking pictures. Um, I mean, if you wanted to, I could walk around and point out every little thing that was wrong with it if you... Yeah, you know how we do it. You know how Kristen does it. She's uh, she'll spot damage just because that's our job. You know, it's if you're if you're gonna claim that we did something wrong, then we better be darn good at what we're doing and and be able to disprove you know these these crazy damage claims. And we just got sick of it. You know, it was you know it was everybody, insurance companies or you know car owners. They all want to. I want to say you you damage something in in hopes of getting something you know in return you know a big a big settlement or a you know it's it's the same for everybody you know if you guys work on homes you know anytime you'd have to enter someone's home you got to put you know the little protective things on your shoes you don't want to damage somebody's wood or carpet or uh, you know it's just that day and age guys it's just what we've went to and that's how my channel got. Uh, started i'm founded on damage claims <laughs> but anyway yeah we got that uh, situation back but but anyway he you know that was a strange situation he was saying that they the police were down there and chased him and he's i don't know what's going on down with that, that hotel what? that's what he's saying he goes they, they're uh, they're doing some sort of bad things down there at that hotel he wasn't supposed to be towed away and the police went down there and chased somebody the owner away and that's one of the most bizarre things I've ever heard. Uh, yeah, I've, that's a. Was he staying at the hotel? Yeah, he says. Are I, you he, sure? He says he's he's renting a room. He says. 
I don't know. That's a that's a very weird huh. situation. But anyway, guys, the the owner of the hotel is he coming this way? Sure is. We'll get out of his way. He's getting it. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, but that was just a bizarre thing, guys. I don't, you know, he was the, the owner of the hotel called us for the removal, said it wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, we'd heard from other folks that you know that that hotel was you know was either rented out or it wasn't, so they knew exactly what was supposed to be there car wise. And anyway, it doesn't really matter. You know, the the, the property owner uh, told us to remove it. We removed it, and and uh, he'll have to deal with uh, the consequences on that stuff. And uh, all we do is what we're told to do and uh yeah but that was just crazy you know he he said that that was his baby he loved it more than his wife and <laughs> wow that's harsh i know that's what i thought too and uh you know he was he was going on about uh how much he really enjoyed this car but yet like i said he left it unlocked and then i, I said did you realize he left it unlocked well yeah maybe i might have done that but i put a car cover on it and i just got the car cover today and like, well, you know, and then he tells us he, he does all this important stuff for the courthouse and jail. Keys for those places in the unlocked car. Yeah, those there were two two racks of keys, you know, and, and then, you know, nobody knows what those keys go to, but, you know, who knows if somebody knew him and knew what he'd done, and I don't know. Things happen is all I'm saying, and uh, it's kind of crazy that you'd love a car so much and then just leave it unlocked in the middle of a parking lot up there by itself on a hill bizarre we get a lot of bizarre stories we do things that uh they're just weird like just a weird situation but anyway i'm not sure where the uh, officer was going but hopefully he doesn't need us it looked kind of important i uh, hope everybody's okay yeah. but uh, stick around stay tuned <laughs>